Good afternoon, learners. With oral examination approaching, I just want us to look at what is expected of you. I hope you are fine today. I'm happy that most of you are sending appreciation messages. Uh, it makes me feel good. I'm sorry that I may not be able to attend to the list of uh, requests that you have sent me. But I'll try to make time and help you. And sometimes I really get busy, but I'll help you. Don't just feel like I've sent uh, my request to Miss and she's not responding. I'm just caught up, okay? Um, today, let us look at oral examination and what is that you really supposed to know so that you score good marks in oral examination. Your oral examination only takes about... 15 minutes it will take 15 minutes or less just imagine 15 minutes and you want to start shivering already all right know that in about 10 minutes before your oral examination start you will be given a topic card with prompts the topic or the topics given are usually related to social issues academic, sport, economic, morals, and ethics. You will be given 10 minutes to prepare for your oral presentation, but you are not allowed to make notes or discuss the topic or prompts with anyone before beginning the examination. When your preparation time is over, you will be called in a room where the oral will be conducted. There's nothing scary here. It's just going to be you and your teacher. You just have to be happy and to be ready. But don't forget that you only have about 10 minutes to prepare. And within that 10 minutes, you are not allowed to make any notes and you are not allowed to discuss anything get this um, oral card an oral card is actually a card which looks like this mm? speaking card in here we have eating habits candidates card people have different eating habits this and this aff affects their health in one way or the other and then here you have the prompt this is how an oral card looks like right in about 10 minutes before your exam, you get that card. Do not discuss with anybody. Do not talk to anybody. And do not make notes. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified. When you are disqualified, you have a U in English. When you have a U in English, you have an ungraded certificate. When you have an ungraded certificate, that means you are going to repeat again. So please just adhere to the rules. Okay. Um... When your preparation time is over, you will be called in a room where oral will be conducted. That is very obvious. Now, let us talk about the introduction of the presentation. The teacher or the examiner will spend two to three minutes asking some simple questions to get you more comfortable and relaxed. Questions may be about your schooling, hobbies, or anything else. This section is not marked. You just need to be at ease. And please don't panic. Ash, the problem I get with learners is that they are very scared. I don't know why. You don't need to be scared. Please don't be scared. Before you even start asking a learner, the learner is already stuck. Well, 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 well. Good morning. Good morning, learner. Good morning, miss. Why would you behave like that? Or uh, you come, then I met them, is greeting you. Good morning, learner. Well, good morning, whoever. The person is just quiet looking at you. <laughs> the whole voice is gone. <laughs> no, please. It doesn't work like that. There's nothing that is supposed to scare you. So within these three minutes, we'll just ask you anything so that you are at ease. Because we want you to pass. Really, our aim as teachers is that we want you to pass. And we love you so much. And it makes me, it makes us feel bad. When you guys feel like we don't care, because really, we do care. And that is why I am doing this. I'm also a teacher and I'm doing this for you to pass. Now, let us talk about a conversation. Your conversation 
it's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes the teacher or the examiner will let you know that you are moving on to the topic that is on your topic card eh? he or she will ask questions about the topic given on your card so try to have a conversation please do not just be there quiet time is going and you know really try to make a conversation the conversation should be at least 80 percent of you speaking the candidate should be speaking at least 80 percent not the teacher if the teacher is speaking too much then you lose marks because it's you who is assessed the teacher is the teacher is only there to help you and direct you your answers should be more than a sentence please don't be that learner who just want to answer shortly like in in this um a work card or oral card this is prompt describe your best dish maybe when you introduce yourself or your 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 oral card you fail to describe the dish then the the teacher or the examiner may ask do you have a best dish don't just say yes and keep quiet <laughs> try to describe or try to talk more because now you will you you will force the teacher to say do you have a best dish then you yes what is your best dish? S uh, sadza and uh, vegetables. So sadza and vegetables, what? Extend more. Talk more. Tell more. Feel free and explore your ideas. Okay. Um, your answers should be more than a sentence. Try to explain more about your answers. Your oral exam has three focus when marks are given. Those structure, when the teacher is giving you marks, he or she is looking at the structure. It's all about complex sentences, correct grammar. You should also, as a learner, opt to talk about things that you know. You know, that about something that you have a lot of uh, points about. If you want, you can even integrate um, real life scenarios as long as you are watching your time. Plus, your teacher is going to be there to, to guide you. When I'm talking about integrating uh, real-life um, real issues, for instance, look here. Travel and tourism. Travel and tourism, eh? The importance of travel and tourism. You know, here, this is a very good uh, card because it, it has a lot of points. Integrating a real-life situation is when you give an example in reality. For instance... There is uh, Mrs. Huhu that I know who did travel and tourism. Right now, she is a very, you know, important figure or respected figure in the society because she has become very successful through uh, traveling and tourism. Now she owns companies such as this and that and that. So travel and tourism is very, very important. It can bring income. It can change people's lives. It's very important in such a way that, you know, uh, I understand you understand what I'm saying and you are going to hit that. Mm, now talk about vocabulary. Vocabulary, you need a variety of vocabulary, a variety of words used correctly and appropriately for the situation. Be careful of trying to use words that you don't fully understand. If you don't want to misuse the words, rather use synonyms of those words. <laughs> This is the most, the biggest problem that I have. Look here. Eating habits. Then the first prompt say, describe your best dish. Now the challenge may come that you don't know what a dish is. Then you refer to dish for DSTV. In this case, describe your best dish. You are being asked about your favorite plate of food. A dish is a plate of food. Eh? Then let's say you interchange it with... Uh, a dish for DSTV, then you are there because, you know, I love the dish because you watch your nice movies and uh, you soapies you will just play every time. When my father put the dish on the, then the dish is now showing the programs. Oh, God, the child, you are lost. So you are lucky that the teacher is there. She may direct you to find the right word of this word. She's not allowed to give you um, 
answers uh, she cannot answer the question for you but i'm sure she will have a heart to direct you until you know what the dish which is being asked here is for but i advise you to have a variety of vocabulary because you are entitled to pass on your own not to be just helped by the teacher every time and the more the teacher is helping you the more the teacher is taking over the conversation and you will lose mark through that because it's you who's supposed to be talking just freely okay um try uh be careful of trying to use words that you don't fully understand if you don't want to misuse uh, the words rather use synonyms of those words and please here try to avoid bombastic words i remember elena that i had some times ago I don't know who lied to him that today I'm going to hit Madam with bombastic words. When he came there, Madam, I was so fragabasted and uh, I felt equilibrium because I was so negated and, uh, you know, I just decided to balance because it was appropriate. You know, things like that. This oral, you are not here to make fun of yourself. <laughs> Please hear you are fighting for your marks. I know some of you are comedians. Do not let that make you lose your marks. And again, your postures. Some of you want to be rubbing your feet. Some of you want to be shaking the table. Some of you want to be making some artistic movements like you are rapping on a stage. All those things may just, you know, uh, um, disturb the process. Become collected and focused. Now, let us talk about fluency. The learner talks without too much prompting. The learner expands on the topic and she answers well and doesn't pause for too long. My dear, I'm telling you that with oral, you are fighting for your marks. So please start training yourself to speak in English. Some of you have got a mentality that English is not our mother language. Unfortunately, it's the official language that you have to understand and to communicate through. But again, don't be influenced by those learners who I don't know, maybe just want to, to cause confusion. I remember, I remember in a certain instance when my one of my learners just changed when she came for the for the word for the oral examination, I was greeting her. Good morning, Lena. Good morning, Miss. How are you, dear? I'm fine, and you, Miss? I'm very fine. So, you know, the Lena was trying to speak in English that I don't understand where it is from. Maybe it's American or whichever country. I really don't understand. You don't need to change your tone. Miss, I just want to explain further because, you know, it's God. So please, learners, as simple as that, be calm. From now on, read storybooks. If you don't have storybooks, take your question papers, English question papers. There are a lot of stories. Read. If you find a new word, check in your dictionary. Check the meaning. See how you can use it. That is how we learn new words. At least try to, to learn three, four new words a day. Okay. I hope I'm not scaring you. I just want you to pass with flying colors, okay? Thanks so much for paying attention. I hope you have learned one or two things. And please, I wish you all the best for your oral examination. Don't feel scared. Just be you, okay? Just be you. And articulate your words to the best of your ability and score good marks. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.